Hello everyone, this is Reaction MT speaking, coming to you to back again. That wasn't a sentence, coming to you back again with Media Monday. We take a look into the gaming community, what's going on, what's trending, and then we talk about it. Um, I don't have any real topics for uh, like last week or something um, that's like really trending. So I just thought about going to this subject, uh, the Xbox Live Enforcement Team. So. As you may know, if you're an Xbox fan or a PS3 fan, I think you've all know about the super gods that look over the Xbox life and then say you are wrong and you are right and you should be banned and you should be not and you should get 1000 Microsoft points, but whatever. So for the PS3 fans who don't know about this, so the Xbox Live enforcement team is a team of people that just look over Xbox Live, ban hackers, cheaters, glitchers, anyone who is doing something wrong in the uh, gaming experience mostly in the Call of Duty scene or anything else but here comes the but um, I think I've seen um, Burn Burns Minnesota Burns' videos um, I think it was a week or two ago I think where he called the, so the Xbox support line for uh, billing I think it was and he was charged money after that his account was banned the day afterwards so he had to pay and then the day afterwards they banned him so um what what whoa 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 let's take it back let's take it back so he talked to this guy on the phone he said he wanted his money back he wanted the phone number of the xbox live enforcement team but there isn't a phone number somewhere so there's not any way so if you've been banned there's no way to contact these people and prove to them that you're innocent you may have recorded all the games that you've ever played on your Xbox still you can't contact them they don't have any phone number they don't have uh, an email they don't I think they have Twitter but I'm, I'm not sure I don't think god damn it Sorry, Facebook is doing weird again. Um, so they don't have a phone number, they don't have an email, they don't have um, like anything else you can contact them with. I think they have a Twitter that might be so, but I'm not sure of that. But they don't accept anything. So if you get banned on Xbox, there is no possibility to ever redeem your account. And that's quite uh, that's a little bit troubling, I think, because. If you get banned, you, you have these two, ty two types of bans, like the console bans and the profile bans. So if you get console banned, your Xbox is good for the trash. You can't do anything with it, just can't play a uh, campaign, single player, all that things uh, that don't have to do anything with online services that Xbox offers, that Xbox Live offers. Uh, if you get a profile ban, it's just one profile which you paid for gets banned. You can just make another account, then uh, you are able to go on online again. But they start off with, like this was a trend with Minnesota Burn, so they banned uh, several accounts, and they banned an Xbox, they banned some accounts, they banned an Xbox, they banned an another Xbox, they banned some accounts. Like he gave us a, a certain number of um, bans he got on profiles or on Xbox. I think it was like four Xboxes, 17 accounts or something and that seems so wrong. Like these people, they c I, I just can't imagine how it is to work with the Xbox Live enforcement team. Like, um, just some guys sitting in a da on a desk staring at their computer muttering Xbox Live probably playing some games themselves because who would stand watching screens all day long from thousands of players who are playing online. And then they're like, hey, I don't like this guy, we should ban him. And you know what? Nobody can contact us. You know why? Because we're God. That's why. I think that's the reasoning behind this. So if we ban someone, there's nothing they can do about it. It's just, it's our will. And nothing else is coming between our judgment and the action of the people getting banned. But they're not doing a very good job. 
You know why? Um, let's take let's take an example. I got a, a game here that I bought. Let's take it for a second. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I go online on this game. You know what I get? I think I played five matches. Five matches of Team Deathmatch. Okay. Um, all good and well. I unlocked some weapons. Ranked some. Uh, I ranked um, my rank up or whatever. I ranked up whatever. Um, and then I go into another game mode. Uh, I think it was Demolition or Domination. The match has ended. I go back into Creative Class because it said I had new things to unlock. You know what I get? All my custom classes are locked. So the only thing I can choose is a Beretta or an, M an M9 pistol. An M9 pistol is the only thing that I can choose. You know why? Because hackers have locked all my other custom classes. And that's not fun. And why are they still playing on Xbox? Because it would be pretty easy if you're monitoring all those people online to see, oh, wait, this guy's hacking. We should ban him. Yeah, that's a good idea. High five, Xbox Live enforcement team. Hey! Beep, beep. We all know it's not gonna happen. If, if I, I'm sure if I go online on Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, it's gonna be the same thing all over and over again. People are start gonna hack and the, the sky is gonna turn blue or red or purple. I'm gonna be able to s jump super high, unlimited ammo, god mode. Hacking on the PS3 is very simple. You just plug in something with an update with a USB stick or something and then you have the hack. You can um, go into some menus. I'm not a hacker so I don't know anything about it. But I'm just giving you a little example of how that might should work. But on Xbox Live I think you have to... What, what do they call it? J JTAC or something like that? It's when you just console break your Xbox. Or so. I'm not a hacker. I'm not sure how this works. So I hear terms like JTAC come up and then I just associate it with hacking. And hacking I associate with cheating online. So yeah, it can't go more any logical than that. I think if that's a word, yes. Um, so why are these people banned? That's another video of Minnesota Burns. Sorry, I'm quoting him so much, but he's the perfect example. From he is the person that got the most bans of everyone in the YouTube com community, and he still buys Xbox and profiles, but whatever. That's his choice. Nothing wrong with it. So back to the point where I mentioned Minnesota Burns, that had a lot of people in his videos from like the year before. Or something like the year before or two years before that he had in his videos that were hacking, modding, cheating, or just ruining the game experience themselves. Uh, especially Call of Duty, World at War, Call of Duty 4, like I mentioned uh, five minutes ago. What they did, what did these people get? And they went from a gold membership to a silver membership. That's what. 50% um, of these guys got e uh, the other 50% wasn't even touched or mentioned with the Xbox Live enforcement team because they didn't feel the need to intervene because they weren't doing anything wrong to other players and that's all okay with the uh, terms and service of Xbox Live <laughs> yeah that sounds pretty good doesn't it fuckers don't ban me please I love you don't do it thanks I'm sorry so yeah, I just kind of got a weird strike over there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me uh, leave a comment what you think about the Xbox Live Enforcement team. If they are doing their job correct or if they don't. Drop a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing. And I'll be happy to see you guys later. Peace off!